Satnam Haridam here, School of Nad. Um, <coughs> I want to speak a little bit about relationships and our, our deepest yearning for sacred soulmate connection. I know it was mine for a long time. I felt futile, tremendous futility <laughs> to the point of almost giving up saying to myself, maybe I'm just meant to to be alone in this lifetime. Different uh, scenarios would pop into my imagination, vivid imagination, like you know, she's she's married to the wrong person, but she's committed, she's you know, she has a good heart, or she's not even incarnate in this lifetime. Have you ever considered that one? There's another issue that needs to be addressed in the, in the soulmate story, especially in, in attracting your ideal soulmate, and that is um, what we desire the most is also at the same time simultaneously what we fear the most. I'm reminded of traditional tarot deck spread, uh, tarot reading spread, the, the um, position which is the usually the ninth card, the tenth card is hopes and fears. And that that card symbolizes what we hope for and fear the most, both. And one card is kind of like the, the Chinese symbol for crisis as opportunity, to see a crisis as an opportunity. Um, and for me, this can play out in terms of um, intimacy and our fear of intimacy. You know, we meet someone potentially who is a, a soulmate, a life partner, and it can be frightening depending on our experience, um, our training, as it were. Um, have you ever heard that saying? <laughs> I don't want to go there. <laughs> um, my response to that, I heard it so much over the years, I, would, I started to respond to the person, we don't have to go there, free will, um, and sooner or later, you're going to have to go there <laughs> with me or somebody else in some other situation. The universe is relentless in teaching us lessons, or at least providing us with those opportunities to learn. Um, relentless. We can keep um, <laughs> playing hooky. <laughs> um, and it's kind of sad when we look at it in terms of the soulmate story. Um, in the sphere of intimacy, it's catch-22 again, what we fear the most, we also desire the most. We want deep, intimate connection with somebody who, who gets us, who's there for us, and has an open heart, is not judging, um, is willing to then to share their soul, and to be present and, and vulnerable. At the same time, it can be really scary. <laughs> hmm? And thus we get into these shallow relationships. Where we, then if we're pushing that away, we're attracting something else, which is more shallow kind of connection. I think this is the, the danger. Of <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse, right? A mixed blessing. Um, this online phenomenon, <laughs> social media phenomenon, can um, connect with people using all these different media technologies um, and yet not c connect at the same time. <laughs> um. <coughs> Hence the popularity of online dating sites and what we've learned here at the School of Nod and speaking to people in the Soulmate program and on Soulbook, our private 
Facebook group that the online dating is, for the most part, a, a failure. At least the people that, that we talked with, and I know some people claim to have success with these. But we're we're looking at a different approach with, uh, with our programs and our in our private groups, sharing at this deep heart level and encouraging people to open up. It's a good place to practice within that safe container to practice intimate communication, vulnerability. Otherwise, one can get stuck in that catch-22, which is like, yes, I like this person, um, I feel like there's potential there, but I'm, I'm not feeling totally comfortable. So I need to wait. I need to take time. And, and that could be, look like pushing them away. You know, it's like, when, when are you going to let your guard down, as it were? And <coughs> you know, this kind of thing. So, um, and it always comes back to the self. That's why we, we put a lot of focus on that. Developing, cultivating a deep, connection, uh, profound, intimate communication with oneself in every way. Um, so there you have it. <laughs> Appreciate any feedback if you want to share your feelings on, on this subject. And um, I'll keep it short for today. Satnam, blessed be, <laughs> Mahi Guru.